this will be fielded inside the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. So out come the Steelers now for their first drive. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". Partner, you know how guys always tell us it's not about the numbers, it's about the win. It's about the numbers, too. Almost 400 yards passing by him last week. What can he do in this one? <laughs> well, earned him AFC Offensive Player of the Week. Maybe he'll try to get 400-plus here and duplicate that honor again. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Quick slant to Brown. And he'll be corralled out across midfield, down to the 45. He's Brown. The numbers for Brown from a week ago. Four catches, 69 yards. We're midway through this one, and we're seeing big numbers from him just about every week, and that's why he's leading the league. Complete to Marquise Brown. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Quarterback is sacked. And that will be incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. And his kick is absolutely perfect. Makes the score. And the Steelers will jump out to a three-zip lead. They were probably hoping to get him a little bit closer for a shorter field goal, but he was able to get it done from deep. Nice little tester for him to begin things, huh? I think he was open for a little bit more of a chip shot. Instead... And it's picked up by the Steelers. Covered by the kicking team. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And he's in! Touchdown, Steelers! J.K. Dobbins, the ball carrier. J.K. Dobbins, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Steelers, they broaden their lead. If you did know it, it won't surprise you to find out that this team leads the league in scoring. They've been a quick strike team all season long. There's another example. They did it again. This offensive coordinator, right now you can write his ticket towards being a head coach. He's advanced in the ways of offense. Now Jones. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. At their own 27-yard line. Team now. Here's a first and ten. And incomplete there. Almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. The pressure right. Marquise Brown was the intended target. And now it's third down. Flush to his right. He may try and run for this. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. And this will depend on the mark. I'm not sure he pushed the line forward. And indeed he did not. They stop him. 
defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them up. It's a fumble. The pass. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing. Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching T. Oh, his first carry, he loses the fumble. Josh Jacobs, the ball carrier. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys like that, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them all. The next guy comes through and picks them up. And avoids the turnover. Yes. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. First and ten at the 20-yard line. <laughs> On first down, they go with Jenkins again. And he loses the football a second time. Josh Jacobs, the ball carrier. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now our ball. <laughs> they don't care if it was luck or skill, but the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you retain possession, that's all you're looking for. An eight-yard loss on the play. It's now third down. <laughs> on third down, he'll drop to throw. Oh, a scram for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Henry 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. First and they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Now look at this. Big game. A fumble. A gain of 25 more yards. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure at him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Tyrell Williams, incomplete. shot as he tried to pull that one in. Into Couldn't hang on. Third, third down. Incomplete. <laughs> Out of the gun now on third down. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Complete to Josh Jacobs. Three yards all they could muster there and it'll bring up fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we've got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stuff and just decided to protect the sticks. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. Rolling to his right. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The pass. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. If you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball, then this is the end result. Big yardage after him. He's got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. What's really difficult to try and defend him is if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch the a lot of times they'll just run past you at the initial point of contact and he'll go deep to number 81 it's a first down on a gain of 10 now a quick slam as the throw is complete and into the end zone touchdown pittsburgh marquise brown hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season and the steelers find a way to stretch their lead He's got it, and it's 17-0. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Chris Boswell to kick off for Pittsburgh. 
Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. On the return, Lynn Bowden. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The Raiders take over first and 10. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. Now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. That's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. On second down, Jacobs. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. 